First event of our Junior Worlds Curtain Racer. It's the uh, New Zealand Team Sprint combination. Oh. Victoria Steele. Oh. And Paige Patterson. And from the other angle, it's Steph McKenzie being led out by Kate Dunleavy. Here comes Paige. Not much in that. And now the men's team sprint of Zach Williams, Jeremy Presbury and Tom Beadle. There's the finish. Godsey. And here comes Beadle. Here's the New Zealand women's team pursuit. Alicia Keith, Raquel Sheath and Sophie Williamson. Off in search of a national record at 3.33. Let's see how they go. Here's Cassie Cameron off on an individual pursuit going in search of a New Zealand record at 2.28. The women's team pursuit is just outside that uh, national mark at 3.35 is what they did. Just a second and a half outside and Georgina Wilson from the back straight. The other two members of the women's endurance squad. And now the uh, New Zealand team pursuiters, Dylan Kennett, Hayden McCormick, Liam Aitchison and Taylor Harrison. Here goes the under 17 super sprint, Nick Kirkus who's off the front. Looks like it's going to be a win coming up for Nick. Here's the uh, senior woman's Kieran. Sprint for the line. Stevens coming out. Craglington. Oh, nothing in that at all. We'll have to probably go to the camera. Nick Stevens came charging home. And I've maybe just got to Aaron Craglington on the line, but that was a beauty of a finish. Here's the first of our invitational Kieran Heats. A couple of New Zealand reps, a couple of South African reps, along with Willie True, Brad Evans, and Matt Dodds. And they come to get the bell. Zach Williams and Jeremy Presbury on the front. Three to go through to the final. And it's the two Kiwi boys. Presbury round the outside. So two will go through, remember? Presbury, Williams and Dodds. And here's our second heat. Tom Beadle leading them across with two laps to go. Here comes Beadle. Watson. And it's Daniel Strobel who gets across to qualify for third. But boy, leading to that last lap, there was nearly some carnage. Here's the uh, women's endurance team. They're going at it. Over a 3K scratch race. And Sophie Williamson starting to get busy on the front. Here's the bell lap. Alicia Keith's away. Keith, Cassie Cameron coming out up. Alicia Keith gets it, Cassie Cameron, and Raquel Sheath gets up for third. Here's the invitational men's field. This should be a good battle. They're off far. Uh, and there are a few laps into their eight kilometre scratch race. South Africa are on the front of the bunch. So it's New Zealand and Australia uh, and South Africa off the front. Liam Aitchison, Stain from South Africa, open up something of a lead over the rest of the bunch. Here's the front of the race, Brad Evans, Taylor Harrison, seven laps to go. Here's the front of the race with three laps to go, Kenneth Aitchison and Josh Haggerty doing a great job. The rest of the field split to bits. Here comes Dylan Kennett. He's going to get the bell and he's got a mammoth lead. Here's Aitchison in second and Haggerty's going to get third by the look of that, which will be a great effort. And there's the rest of the bunch back there, but no problems here. Here comes Dylan Kennett, your winner.
Aitchison takes second, and Josh Haggerty, great effort in for third. Here goes the senior men finish, Andrew Lynham, Sam Thomas, and Andrew's got it. Thomas in for second, and Toomey in for third. Here's the under-13s, Derby, Strong's going to hang on from Matty Goff. Emma McClay gets up for third. Under 17 finish in the handicap race. Holly Edmondston takes it out over Laura Hayward. Libby Bain is it up for third. Nick Erkerson comes in fourth. And Josh Van der Aaron in fifth spot is the uh, open men's elimination. We're down to three. Dirky Nell from South Africa, along with Brad Evans and Dylan Bennett. Can the South African get in there? Dylan Bennett might be in a bit of trouble on the inside. And it is, Bennett goes. So now it's Brad Evans up against Nell. Here's the final lap to win the elimination. Evans and Nell. Here goes Brad Evans, can now respond. Evans kicking clear, and he's got the kick to end it. So Brad Evans takes the win. Happy about that. Dirky now in for second spot. Well run. A couple of match sprints. This is Vic Steele against Kate Dunleavy. They're going to come in and get the bell. Steele coming from a long way back using the banking. Now has she got the momentum to overtake Dunleavy down the back straight? Here comes Vic Steele. Dunleavy cranking things, getting out of her seat. She has a quick look. And uh, Vic Steele trying to come around the outside. Here they go, fighting up towards the finish line. What a finish! Might just have been the outside. I think Vic Steele just got there by the narrowest of margins. But that was a cracking finish down the straight by the two New Zealand teammates. This should be a beauty. In second match sprint, Steph McKenzie stalking Paige Patterson. Coming to get the bell. Here is the bell. Mackenzie cranking it out, leading it out, and here comes Patterson. Patterson trying to come down the outside, and she's got it. Yeah, well ridden. So Paige Patterson showing good top line speed there. It's a good sign. Leading into the Junior Worlds. And she takes the win. And here comes here comes the start of the Invitational Men's Karen Final. A bit of Archie Bargy straight away. Good stuff. There you go. Bit of shoulder work. So you've got three New Zealanders in here. New Zealand representatives that is. Zach Williams, Jeremy Presbury and Tom Beadle. Willie True of Canterbury. Carl Watson of uh, Southland. And a lone South African. One Daniel Strobel. Plenty of argy bargy in this race. Strobel trying to get round the outside. But uh, both Carl Watson and Willie True having none of it. So here we go, motorbike pulls off and now it's all go. So it's Presbury, Beadle, True, Strobel, Watson, and Zach Williams. Two laps to go. Presbury looking around. Beadle starting to go. Presbury looks to go with them. So they've come in and get the bell this time. Here they go. It's the two Southerners, Beadle and Presbury. Beadle goes around the outside. Here comes Carl Watson at them as well. Presbury trying to hang on. Watson trying to finish strongly, but it looks like Beadle's got it. Beadle's got it. Presbury in for second. Watson takes third. True, Williams, and then Strobel. So that's the way they finished. And they draw the curtain down in fantastic fashion on the Junior Worlds Curtain Raiser.